everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing okay and keeping well and keeping safe and happy and all that good stuff. So today's video is going to be a summer makeup routine. So I've made up this new little routine that I'm doing on the sunny days. Thank God it's the sun is out, the sun is beaming down and I'm literally loving it. So I've got a few new bits that I tried and I'm actually loving them. So I just thought I'd do this little video to show you what I'm using. So I'm just going to jump straight into the video and get started. So the first thing I'm going to use that you all know that I literally love and swear by is the Benefit Professional Hydrate Primer. So absolutely love this primer, can't fault it, like use it literally every single day. I only put like a tiny amount on and just rub it straight into my nose. And that's the only place where I put this primer because I just don't feel like you need it all over your skin. So especially around the sides of my nose as well, that's always where it gets like dry and dehydrated. So this primer works perfect for there. So I just make sure that's all rubbed in across my nose. And then that's all I put on, like literally the tiniest amount. So then for the rest of my face, you probably all know this already if you've watched any of my other videos or if you follow me on Instagram. I use the MAC Strobe Cream in Pink Light. I absolutely love the strobe cream. Like it doesn't have to be the pink like one. It can literally be like anyone. And I literally just I'm obsessed with it. So I just put that everywhere where I didn't put the professional. And then I'll just rub that straight in with my hands. This just gives like a nice glow to the skin underneath the makeup and I just love it. So I just make sure that's all blended in everywhere. It just gives such a nice glow to the skin. Like So the next product I'm going to use on my skin is foundation. Now my go-to summer foundation this year is the Ordinary Coverage Foundation. So I absolutely love this. Like I've only worn this now a couple of times so far but it's been amazing. Like it gives such a nice finish to the skin and it's so lightweight in your skin. You don't feel like you're like caked in makeup or anything especially when it's sunny out. Like you don't want that. So the shade I use in this is 2.0N Light Medium. And there's an SPF 15 in this which it always is good. This colour as well is lovely for a little bit of tan. If you're kind of like the same shade as me, like this one's actually lovely. Like it's not too dark or anything, so I love that. So then the brush that I use to apply that foundation is the Charlene Collins Stippling Brush. So this is a gorgeous stippling brush, so soft and it's quite small as well compared to other stippling brushes. Um, so I find that better to kind of get in around like your face as well, especially when you're doing clients. It's really good. So I just pop that on and then just brush it all around my face so I'm not putting on too much I'm not like patting it down I'm just kind of swiping it all around like I'm only after dipping in my brush a little bit and like so much product after going on to it already so I'm just still like buffing it all into the skin some people will probably think that I'm crazy and like be like this isn't summer makeup like but this is my summer makeup <laughs> so we're just gonna have to go with it make sure to get them ears don't want to be leaving your ears out and then Keep going with just your buffing it in. Obviously you have to get that right into the hairline. I'll always pull my hair back if you're blonde like me or fair. I always like to pull my hair back and just get it right in. Now and if you're me, you're always a little bit darker than your neck like. But your fake tan never really takes to your neck and chest as much as it does to your arms. Does anyone else feel that? Like it's always me. Never sticks that well. So anyway, I just like to blend it down always. Even if it was like a perfect match, I'd always blend it down. Now so I'm just continuing just to make sure that there's no lines there as well, just to blend it right down your neck. I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but it's actually oxidised the foundation already. And doesn't look as orange as it was when I put it on first. So, I really love that. Like, this is the coverage of it. It's more of a medium, really dewy foundation. I don't know if it would see oily skin. Like, maybe if you said a lot, it probably would. But I have, like, kind of oily skin, a bit dehydrated. Like, I'm a bit all over the place, like, so... It suits my skin anyway and it doesn't seem to come off or leave me patchy or anything so I really love it. So the next product I'm going to use is concealer and if you know me you know my favourite concealer in the whole world is the Catrice Liquid Camouflage Concealer. I absolutely love this. I swear by this concealer. I've tried so many but this one I always go back to. It's not cakey, it's not heavy but it really covers up your under eyes and imperfections that you have as well. I absolutely love this concealer and it's actually like 3 euro or something like that in pennies. Like really really cheap. Um, it's so good. Like amazing. So the shade that I use is 005 Light Natural. So I use this for under my eyes and then I'll use 020 light beige for on my skin if I want to cover up any spots or anything. But I absolutely love these concealers like and when Penny's reopened you know I literally went straight over to the makeup and was like get me tan like. So I'm just going to pop some of this on underneath my eyes. 
So I just like to go in from the center and then go under here. Now I used to like draw lines down my face, but I actually don't do that anymore because I've seen a little hack on TikTok that if you put your concealer up here, it makes your eyes look more lifted. And listen, anything that can help, I will do. Now I will put still like a fair bit under my eyes because I don't put foundation there or anything and I do want to brighten them, that's the way I like it. And then I still will put a tiny bit on the rest of my face just to brighten it up a little bit. I just wouldn't put as much as I usually would put on. So I'll just put a tiny dot here, tiny dot here, tiny bit on my nose and a tiny bit just on my forehead. So that's where I pop on the concealer and I'm just going to use the Ingla 4SS brush. It's like a really fluffy dome shaped brush to blend it all in. So I just like to pat it all in really just to blend it, that's the way I find best to blend it. You don't want to be swiping it around because sometimes it can mess up then your foundation. So I just like to pat this all in, all around and then I'll just rub it up and down my nose. Like you don't have to be too particular because it's summer makeup like you know. So I'm just going to make sure that I'm blending it all in just looking over here. So I just like to pat it right up and I'll just pat it all in here. I don't actually know if this makes much of a difference for me but since I've seen it on TikTok, I'm like, yeah, I have to do it. So that's all of it blended in. And then that's all I do. So that's a good concealer. So as you can see, my skin is like still really glowy all here, everywhere. So that's what we love to see. We love to see it. Now, so the next thing I'm going to just use is some powder to set under my eyes. This is the PS My Perfect Colour Loose Mineral Powder from Penny's. I use this in all my tutorials as well. 250, like, can you actually believe it? It's so good. Like, I actually love this powder. Like, 250, like, can you actually go wrong? Like, but the only thing is, like, so much of it comes out on top. I don't know if you can actually see that, but I can't tilt it anymore in case it spilled everywhere. So, like, I literally just have to dab your brush in it, like, a tiny amount. I only just want it under my eyes. So, I'm just using the Charlene Collins brush set again. And this is, like, a dome-shaped fluffy brush. So, I just pop this powder on underneath my eyes. And I just pat it right in. Make sure to keep patting it in. That's all I do with the powder. Nothing crazy. So I'm just going to pat it in the other side again. Make sure to get right underneath the eye. So that's all I'm doing for powder now. But I will be back to powder. So we just have to trust the process. And I will be back with powder. So the next thing I'm going to show you. You're actually going to die when you see this. So this is from Penny's. This item. And it's called Summer Heels from PS Glow Wand Highlighter. This is it here. So I spotted this and I was like. What is this? So I just bought it thinking it might be a dupe that I may have found and then I opened it and I was like yeah this is most definitely a dupe so this is a dupe for Charlotte Tilbury's beauty wands look at this like it's literally the exact same I actually could not get over when I seen it I was like I don't know like if it has a little sponge it'll be a dupe defo so then when I opened it I was like yeah confirmed hello I used this the other day only for the first time I only picked it up like a couple of days ago and it was so nice so that's why i just powder underneath my eyes and then i leave the rest of my skin and then i'll put on powder after i put this on because you don't want to put liquid products on top of powder because if you do that you're asking for trouble so just don't do that so what i like to do with this is just squeeze a little bit out loads of it actually comes out so you just squeeze a tiny bit out and just put it on the high points of my cheek and this was only like 350 as well. So obviously as you can see it just looks like a stripe. So I'm just going to grab my ring finger. And then just pat that right in. Make sure it's all blended in nicely. Look at that glow. Like oh my god. I actually am obsessed with this. So I'm just going to pop a tiny bit on where I put the rest of my highlighters. On my upper lip on my chin. So it's basically where I put my concealer. Just a little bit on the tip of my nose. And then just a little bit on my forehead. And I'm just going to do the exact same and blend that in with my ring finger. The next thing then I like to go in with then is the MAC Studio Fix Powder. This one is literally like so old because it's little, you can't even see the name on it. And I go in with NC20. Now I'll only use like a tiny amount of powder because we want to keep my, our skin like really dewy and like glowy. So I'll just use like a tiny bit like just on the cheeks here. And just a little bit on the sides. And just around the sides here. And I just like to kind of brush that down my neck as well. Like I only literally put the tiniest amount on. I've got to say the brush is crown brushes. And it's a dome powder brush. It's just really fluffy like. So they're really good. So I'm going to move on to bronzers now. So you want to put your bronzer on. Because you want to be like sun kissed goddess. Bronzed goddess. Vibe. All them good vibes. So this is the NYX matte bronzer in shade medium. So this is it here. 
it's actually very dark for medium like what i like to do is just pop a tiny bit of this onto this brush here so i'm just going to start right at the top of my cheek and then just bring it right down and then make sure just to blend it all in in circular motions go right under the jaw as well i find this brush is actually great for going underneath your jaw make sure to just go right into my forehead i like to go right along the edges you want to be like a sun-kissed goddess so you want you do want a lot of bronzer like do you know and then make sure to just blend it all in and then more on the cheeks because why not yeah you know, whatever's left on the brush then i like to just rub across my nose but i don't feel like putting bronze on my nose or anything so i'll just put in some on this side of the face as well so i like to start at the back because the back gets the darkest and then you can bring it forward and you don't want to be too particular where you put your bronzer because you're just bronzing up the face this isn't like a contour so like a contour would be like getting your balance structure where this is just bringing colour into your face the contour kind of adds shadows right this is just adding like warmth in and just keep blending that in till you're happy with the colour this is the bronzer on now so as you can see it is dark the, the ring light in the camera is actually making it look darker than what it looks in person because i have a mirror here that i've been looking in but when I add in the rest of my products, it makes it all work. So we just have to trust the process. So the next thing I'm gonna use is Benefit Hula Bronzer. We always use this bronzer. So I just use the brush that it comes with. And then I literally just put a tiny bit on the sides of my nose. I never really like contour my nose actually that much to be honest. I don't really mind my nose so once it kind of has like a little bit of bronzer just to tie it all in. I'd be happy out with that. So I just like to go in then with a little bit of the Hula bronzer just to contour because this is much more of a cooler tone than the NYX bronzer. I'm just using the Charlene Collins brush set again. And this is like an angled really fluffy brush. I only put a tiny amount of Hula on. And then I'll just buff that right down. So a little bit just across the chin and a little bit on the forehead. And I like just blending my nose with the brush as well. There's nothing really on the brush so I just like blend it in with. So we're going to move on to my favourite part next. So the blusher that I love is Kiko Blusher. This is the Ocean Field Blush in number one Sun Kissed. Look at that. Isn't that just amazing? Like honestly the shine off it place. It's actually just my favourite thing in the whole world. Like it's probably like one of my favourite makeup products ever. So the way I like to apply this blush is with another angles brush. This one's really fluffy. This is Crown Brushes Contour Blush. So I put loads of blush on. Especially if you want to be like sun kissed. Like you want to look like you got sunburnt. That's the way I want to look. Like I want to look like I'm sunburnt and I have freckles and I'm a brand goddess. So I will like use loads of brush. Put loads on the brush. Tap it off. And then I'll smile. And I just walk from the apples of my cheeks right back. And the shine off this blush. Like, I actually can't, I actually cannot cope with it. Like, so I just do it on both sides. Now I'll do it until I'm happy with the colour, like, because I like a lot. Like, look at the shine off this blush. So I like to put blush everywhere. So what I do with the brush then, is I get the real top of it there, like this bit here. And I'll put that in the brush, and then I'll rub it right across my nose. Because we want to look like we got some burnt, so I want my nose to look like I was burnt. I put a little bit on my chin. And then I'm going to put a little bit on my forehead. I actually think this brings like loads of colour into your face. Like it just makes you look so refreshed or something. Right so moving on to the next product is highlighter. First one I'm going to go in with is the Be Perfect X Mama Mitchell Sub Zero Palette. It's so good. Like I actually am in love with it. It has like pinks, blues, gold, bronzy ones, peachy ones silvery ones it's amazing so the brush i'm going to use is the real techniques by sam and nick setting brush and the shade i'm going to go in with is lifestyle so this is like a really bronzy shade so i'm just going to pop a little bit onto my cheeks and then bring it right back like look at that shine already like i actually don't think i need any other highlighter on top of this because i'm literally so shiny i like to pop this on exactly where i put the liquid highlighter so just on my upper lip and on my chin and I like loads on my nose, like I love like a glowy nose. That shade lifestyle is so nice because it's golden like so it makes you look like proper like gold and bronze. Like love that. Like, oh my god, like this highlight is so nice. That's a 10 out of 10 for me. You need to invest in this palette, like honestly it's so good. Like. So the next step is actually very exciting. Something new that I'm doing is faux freckles. Now I'm no expert at it so do not come at me. Do not at me. I just like to do it my way and this is the way i've been doing it i've been loving it i'm loving a bit of freckles so what i like to use to draw on my freckles is nyx micro brow pencil in the shade espresso and i'm literally just gonna dot it everywhere like honestly i don't even be worrying about it like you just want a few dots all around i just dot it all around my nose 
and just keep dotting it like so i'm just going to continue to dot that all around this side as well this is actually my brow pencil that i use for my brows as well so two and one hello fab love that for me i really like this shade because it's actually not too dark all right so i'm happy with my freckles now so we're moving on to brows next what i like to use my brows at the moment is the nyx tinted brow mascara in espresso so the same shade as pencil so sometimes i use the pencil to add in a few hairs or sometimes i just use mascara for summer makeup just some mascara is fine i actually love this shade it's really nice even though i'm blonde like it's still like a nice dark brown and it's not too dark so what i like to do with the mascara is i just don't go too heavy i just like to brush them right up I just want a fluffy brow so I just bring that right up and just keep brushing it through so I'm just going to keep on brushing them right up that's it so I got a little dot of it there just right in my brow so all I do with that is this pencil comes actually with a little spoolie on one end and a little pencil on the other if I have like a little dot like as you can probably see here I have like too much product like I just brush it up and it just goes if I feel like I put too much product in my brows as well I'll just brush it up with a clean spoolie like this one and that's it then so the next step I'm gonna do is just pop on a little bit of eyeshadow so nothing too mad or anything like I only like a tiny bit of eyeshadow so what I'm gonna use today now is from the clientele palette I'm gonna go in with shade Sandy and shade Dirty Tan. I'm using the Ingloss 6SS brush as well. It's just a really fluffy brush. It's a smaller version of the 4SS. Love them too. I'm just going into my crease. So I don't know if I actually mentioned it earlier. But I just pop a little bit of concealer on my eye. Like when I'm rubbing it into the bottom. I just pop it on the top. And that will do. I love an eyeshadow primer. The be perfect one. It's amazing. Amazing. Like it's. I really really love that. If I'm doing smoky look. Going out look. If I'm doing a mad look obviously i need a primer so like this is all i'm doing with the eyeshadow like literally just swiping it across my free just back and forward circular motions and that's it so i just mix the two colors together i actually love it this palette is actually stunning i only got this recently but it's amazing it's defo worth giving it a go now so just to pop something on my lid i usually either bring that shadow down to my lid or i'll pop a little bit of shimmer on so that's what i'm going to do today so this is the charlene collins brush it's just a flat brush it is clean it's just stained um and i'm going to go in with the shade Lux. so it's just this one here i'm just going to pop that onto the brush like literally the tiniest bit and i'm just going to drag that right across my lid like actually nothing special at all like literally just dragging it all over my lid making sure it's blended in with the other color and that's it then like it's actually grand it's so easy like yeah i only need a tiny bit of these eyeshadows like and there's so much comes out it's so good i literally am obsessed with this palette i got mine like on a discount so it would be perfect like be perfect to always have really really good deals on so like make sure you're subscribed to their mail list and you keep an eye on their social media like especially if you're a makeup artist and you want to build up your kit it's brilliant like to get a few bits all together so that's the eyeshadow done literally nothing special at all so that's all I do. It's literally so simple. Like if you were to go out or if you were on your holidays, um, all you need is your bronzer for this part. And then for your lids, you only need your highlighter. That's it. Like you're actually sorted then. So you don't even need a palette. But obviously, I love palettes. So I have lots. So I might as well use them. So just to match the under eye with the top then, I'll just go in with a little bit of sandy and dirty tan. Like a tiny bit on this brush here. It's just like a flat fluffy brush. So I just go like right underneath the eye with this. So that's it then for under the eyes. That's literally all I do. And now I'm just going to pop some highlight around my eyes as well. Just to make them pop a little bit more. I'm just going to use Charlie and Collins Pointer Brush again. But again, this one is stained green. It's not actually dirty. It's very clean. <laughs> So I just pop it a tiny bit, like wait till you see this, it's actually insane. Look at that highlighter, like that's literally the smallest bit ever. So I just pop this in the inner corners here and there's a nice like gold kind of tone off it as well. So I just blend in with the eyes and then I just pop a little bit underneath the brow bone, just there. And that is it then. Now, so the eyes are nearly finished. So it's so quick and easy to do, like what I'm going to put on now, which is a little bit of mascara. So I'm using the Tweezer Man Lash Curler and the Be Perfect Bad Lama Mascara. I love this mascara, so I'm going to pop some of this on off camera. I'll just show you what the mascara is actually like. This is the one here, it's quite thick and it goes skinny at the top and it's real bendy, flexible and it's more of like a rubber kind of one. So love that. I'm just going to pop some of that on and pop some lashes on and then I'll be back okay so i am back now with my lashes on and i have one of my favorite lashes on as you probably already know the so sue katie lashes so they're my favorite lashes like for everyday wear so they're like small at the front long at the back no lash band perfect for everyday wear love them i use the duo glue so i use this one here 
duo brush and adhesive with vitamins this one here and i used this little tool to help me put them on i can't recommend this enough it's from doll beauty and this is a hair so it's not as sharp as using the tweezers on yours and it's brilliant for just like pushing them in at the top and all absolutely love this like i never use tweezers to put my lashes on i always use my hands but i'd say like when you're getting your nails all done this would be perfect but i actually love using this instead of my hands now moving on from that now the last few bits i'm going to do is i'm going to just pop on my lips so I'm going to use MAC Strip Down Lip Liner, it's just like a nice natural brownie kind of colour. So I'm just going to put this on like normal lip liner. I don't really overline much or anything. I just kind of outline my lip. So this shade is gorgeous actually with loads of the MAC lipsticks. Because it's really like neutral brown. So I just like to do the cube as well first. So I'll just do this first and then draw it down. Yeah, so that's the lip liner done. Then the lipstick I'm going to use is MAC Cherish. Love this lipstick. So it's like a nice neutral brown as well, kind of like a pinky brown. It's similar to Honey Love, two of them are my favourite, kind of swinging more towards Cherish now, but I really like both. So I just pop that on, and you don't need to blend them in together or anything because they're like quite similar shades. So then the lip gloss I'm going to go in with is Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme. It's this one here, and it was kind of like a pinky shade just because I pop it over my lipstick. But it's so good, it really plumps your lips. It's so nice as well, it gives such a nice shine. So I'm just going to pop some of that on. Now if you don't like stingy lip glosses, you won't like this at all. Because this does sting your lips a little bit. But that's what helps them plump. And I like loads of lip gloss, especially with a glowy look. So I just like to rub them on together like that. And then the last thing I'm going to use is the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus Cherry Blossom Scent Spray. Just to melt all the products in together and just set them on place. So I like to put a good bit of this on, so I'll just do a couple of sprays all over, wait for that to dry. This is actually lovely if you put it in the fridge and then spray it on, especially on a summer day. It's so nice. Perfect for like during the day as well if you want to just pop it over your makeup. It's just so nice, so refreshing. So this is the finished look. I hope you all really like the look and I hope you enjoyed watching the video and maybe learned something new or found a new product you might like to try. So if you did enjoy, please leave a like, comment and subscribe to my channel. That would be amazing. And I hope to see you all again soon. So this is the ordinary cover. It must be the same amount. Like obviously it's the same amount. And then I'll just... So I just... So I just do circular motions as well. Just a bloop. Just to make sure that's grand. But I really like it so and it hasn't so and I literally like so that's it's gonna use an ingloss makes a difference much like a big like big really this is the chisel chisel blush I just spilled all my brushes so then I like to pull I like blend it together like you're not just like big these big